What's up, YouTubers? It's the Yardist here, bringing you one of my favorite Kill 'em All loadouts today on Operation Locker Domination. And today's loadout is my hit hard. By golly, did he just do that? Fuck me in the giblets. Mmm, float out. I have the Ace 23 today with the Cobra Sight, Laser Sight, Ergo Grip, and Flash Hider. Now for the second part of my trusty hit hard loadout, I have the always handy Head Exploder, the Devil Deeg. Now you're going to notice that I die a few times today, but that's okay. I get some amazing killstreaks later in the round, and I'm able to pull off some epic things with that trusty Deeg. Now I want to start off with some basics here. If you like what you see today, remember to hit that like and even that subscribe button if you wish to see some more Battlefield action. My channel is for you all, so if you have any game related questions, comments, or if you have any suggestions for my channel, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested in looking at any of the stats that I'm featuring today, go ahead and take a look at simthick.com if you are a stat nerd like me. I'm going to put a link in the description down below. Now my first tip for those of you who'd like to try out this loadout is to get ready for some heavy hitting firepower. The Ace-23 is quite possibly one of the best weapons in the game and unquestionably the Deagle is by far the most powerful pistol in the game. But with great killability comes great solvability on your part. You'll have to learn the spread pattern of the Ace-23, which honestly isn't too bad with the Ace-23 performing better than the ACWR loadout I featured in my last video. But you'll also have to take away the advantage of the suppressor attachment, which would keep you off the minimap. Now the flash hider is a good substitute for the suppressor, however, because although it doesn't keep you off the minimap, it makes it harder for enemies downrange to see where your fire is coming from, uh, from which potentially gives you that millisecond advantage over your opponent. Another thing you will have to consider with this loadout is that the reload time for the Ace-23 is way slower to reload than the ACWR, with the Ace-23 clocking in with the TAC reload at 2.1 seconds and the empty reload at 3.1 seconds. Now what this means for you is, essentially, if you want to have the fastest possible reload you can for this weapon, you need to have at least one round in the magazine to take advantage of the tactical reload speed. Now the next thing you'll have to keep in mind for this loadout is the heavy hitting Devil Deeg. The Deagle has an increased damage model so you'll pretty much outperform any other pistol at any range if you are consistently landing shots on your opponent, but if the opponent has let's say the CZ-75 I featured in the last video, they will have the advantage of having a higher fire rate which could potentially lose you battles if you don't connect with all of your shots. Another thing you will have to take into consideration is the reload time of the Deagle. The tack reload of the Deagle is a whopping 2.75 seconds, and the empty reload runs to 3.2 seconds. Now I don't know about you, but in a life or death situation when all you have left is your pistol, that 2.75 or 3.2 seconds is a long time to wait while enemies are firing at you. Now all the negatives aside, if you take in consideration of those aspects of the loadouts, then you alter your gameplay to accommodate them, you're going to see a lot of success out of all these weapons. As I get that epic head splattering headshot. Alright, so that's it for me guys. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of my gameplay. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoy watching me. And uh, have a good time on the battlefield. The Yardist out. Спасибо!
Yeah. 